Hi everyone, welcome to Narej Technologies, this is Srinivas. So, in this session we are going to discuss about a stack data structure. What is a stack means? This is an algorithm, right? So, nothing but this is one abstract data type or a set of rules. So, what is the use of stack means? Just to store the information in some of the situations, if you follow the rules of a stack, so we can access the information effectively. So, what are the applications and where we are using stack exactly? So, that we will see later. So, first here, now we will discuss. So, what is a stack and how to implement a stack? And finally, we will discuss applications of a stack. Okay? So, first one. So, what is a stack means? A simple an algorithm that works based on a rule called last in first out. We can call it as a LIFO. So, based on a last in first out rule, a stack works. So, what you inserted last into the memory that will come out first. It is a simple rule. Sir, one best example where we are placing the CDs, CD stand. So, we are inserting right the CDs, right. So, then the CD will move like this and here it is, this is a CD and this is a next CD and this is a third CD. You inserted first, second, third. So, this is inserting. So, if you want to pick out one CD from the CD stand, then the third one will come first. It will come first. So, this is just deleting or collecting the information and this is inserting the information. So, a stack algorithm, so will run a based on the rule last in first out, right. How the insertions and how the deletions, right. Every data structure, right or right every stack should have a particular amount of a memory block initially. So, we can call it as a capacity of stack. So, what is the capacity and how we will decide, right. So, either using a dynamic memory allocation we can decide or we can use a, a static memory allocation also. So, first we will see a static memory allocation is nothing but a constant memory allocation. Sir, what we will use in a static memory allocation? Simply we are using the concept of array. We are using the concept of array. So, how? See for example, how we are declaring an array means int arr the size is a 5, 5. So, whenever we declare variable like this, it gets a memory allocation, a block to store 5 elements at some location. Suppose 2046, 2048, 50, 52 and 54. So, this is memory allocation. So, now I want to implement a stack and of course, right a stack implementation also with the help of arrays only arrays concept just rotate this memory allocation so by minus 90 degrees minus 90 observe integer type elements we are storing right the name is a stack and of course it is array only but the approach is different stack here it is a capacity capacity suppose initial capacity we are giving like this. The same memory allocation we are writing in different ways. So, this is now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is a base address 2046, 2048, 2050, 2052, 2054. Here base address of the block who will hold the array variable? ARR holds the base address of the block to collect the information of that memory block. In the same way, a stack variable is an array variable is holding the base address of the block 2046. 2046. This is what we called a static memory allocation. How we can allocate the memory right to a stack is a fixed memory fixed memory. Sir, for example, if you want to implement a stack dynamically, then we should use the concept of, we should use the concept of 
right a mal log function cal log function real log function and free function we already discussed the dynamic memory allocation concept in a c language right so now here it is for arrays so, what are the functions we are using in a stdlib.h means a cal lock function and next one real lock function. So, what is the use of a cal lock function? We can allocate the memory dynamically of course, but with a fixed size. We cannot change. If you want to increase or decrease the size of array or size of memory block, we should go for real lock function. We should go for real lock function very simple how to allocate the memory observe. So, how to allocate the memory dynamically to stack. So, first we are declaring integer pointer variable, but the variable name is a stack. Stack in a static memory allocation we are using array with a fixed size, but now here it is a pointer. So, only a stack get memory allocation at some location at some location. Now, it is ready to accept one integer array nothing but a memory block address it is ready to hold. How we are allocating the memory to this one? How? So, that is using a cal lock function. So, what is the size nothing but what is the capacity capacity we have to pass. See for example, the capacity is a 5 capacity equals to 5 capacity we are passing and next one what is the size of each element that we are going to store in the stack size of integer. So, that we are collecting what cal lock function will do a capacity into size of integer capacity is a 5 size of integer is a 2 is nothing but 10 bytes memory it will allocate a block 10 bytes memory it will allocate and the base address suppose 2046 we should collect into stack so that it start pointing to this one. Here it is a stack we are collecting that information into variable stack, but stack is of type what is an integer pointer type, but cal lock function return type is a wide pointer we know that cal lock function returns void pointer this is what we called generic pointer. This is already we discussed clearly what is the prototype of a cal lock function right why it is returning wide pointer how to typecast a pointer all these things already we discussed in a dynamic memory allocation concept of a C language right. So, once go through that how memory will be allocated using a cal lock function. This is just allocating a memory to this stack with a fixed size. Here initial capacity is a 5. Sir, if I want to store the sixth element then what will happen then we should go for a real lock function. For that we have to write the logic how to write the logic and all we will see ok. So, first simply this is memory allocation dynamically to the stack. Right. So, we can implement a stack data structure algorithm in two ways either by using a static memory allocation concept or by using a dynamic memory allocation concept. A static memory allocation concept means we are using arrays, dynamic memory allocation concept means we are using right a CL log function and real log function of course, with the help of a pointers concept ok. So, this is just only creation and sir what are the operations we can perform right on a, a stack. So, once a stack is ready once a stack has been created. So, what are the operations we can perform on a stack data what are the stack operations what are the stack operations. So, first one first one so creation of a stack creation either dynamically or with the static memory allocation. Second one we can push the elements into the stack right we can push the elements right. So, what is that pushing the element right nothing but insertion of elements according to that algorithm 
so, right uh, some of the words a uh, terminology we should understand but here it is whenever we are calling push function so whatever the element you want to insert that we are passing suppose the stack is an integer stack that element we should pass what element you want to push and next one third one pop third one is pop but here whenever we are calling a pop function no need to pass anything any argument sir why what is the reason because right in this from the stack if you want to pop any element it is always try to access a last element right so what you inserted the element last so that will come out first the last element what is the top of the stack that will be collected that will be collected and next one fourth one a traverse function sir what is a traverse function just displaying all the elements of the stack displaying all the elements of the stack is nothing but traverse function so these are the main functions we are using in the implementation of a stack so some more functions these are optional and anyway we are implementing at the time of a stack implementation is empty or not if stack is empty or it contains elements or not and next one sixth one is full or not is full and next sixth one so how seventh one how many elements are there so what is the length of the stack i think but simply we can call it as a size also more clearly so what is the size of the stack how many elements are present how many elements are present in the stack so these many things so we are implementing these many types right so implementation of all these functions just writing logic for all these functions is nothing but a stack implementation once you implement all these things then a stack is ready with the help of that stack then we can store the information effectively into every program into every a uh, programming application so that we can process the information effectively so first for example so we are creating the stack with a size 5 we are creating the stack creating either if you want to push the elements or if you want to pop the elements that is possible only from the top of the stack any operation you can perform with the help of element top element only from the top only either we are inserting or deleting the elements nothing but we will push or we will pop so first of all for, for example here so we are calling push of element 10 so then the stack will be like this right it will go like this from the top it will stay here and next if you want to push 20 20 then this is the stack 10 next element here 20 and remaining nothing and next for example here so we just want to pop pop means so which element will be popped is the last in first out is a 20 will be deleted so then in the stack only 10 will be present 20 will pop will pop next for example here it is we are pushing 30 just push 40 push 50 50 then a stack will be like this 10 30 40 50 and next for example if you want to perform a pop operation so then then here it is 10 30 40 here it is 50 will come out it will pop so what you inserted last so that will come out first so if you insert five elements we can't insert the sixth element 
right in a static memory allocation of course. In a dynamic memory allocations we will increase with the help of a real lock function and we are inserting anyway. So, these are just operations on a stack how we are inserting the elements how we are deleting the elements just we are performing push operations and pop operations. All these operations we can perform with the help of a variable called top because we should perform all the operations on the stack from the top only either you want to push or you want to pop the elements ok. So, implementation how to write the logic of all these things all these functions right. So, we will see in the next session right. So, for more videos so please log into Naresh IT channel thank you.